hi guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to do a quick video on how to achieve a nice puff like this one on long hair I've always wanted a puff but I've just never been able to achieve one so I kind of played around in my bathroom mirror and came up with a way that works for me and I hope it works for you as well so um I won't keep this intro too long that's all I need to say I hope you guys like it and um let's just get right into the video okay so here I'm just starting out on six seven day old hair I think it's been a minute since it's been washed um so yeah that's why it's looking a little crazy so here I'm just gonna spray water on my hair um you know obviously it's old and needs to be washed so I'm going to go ahead and rehydrate it by adding just some plain old water nothing special there And I'm going to make sure to pay special attention to the nape of my neck. That is where my hair gets the driest. So I'm definitely going to spray around there too. And the perimeter of my head as well. If you hear something in the back, I have one dog snoring. And the other one, I, I don't know what she's doing. So here I'm adding a little bit of the Berry Bliss Butter around the perimeter of my entire head. Basically the part that um, is not going to be... In the elastic the part that you know needs to be smooth I feel like that's one of the most important parts of a good puff is to have your hair smooth here I'm going to add eco style gel on top of that the reason that I put the butter first is because although the butter isn't used as a moisturizer I like to use it as protection against gels um, eco sour isn't a harsh gel but you know you can never be too safe and also this causes the gel to not be so freaking hard because eco style gel can leave your hair rock hard and that is a no bueno so i'm just adding that to the back of my head and just kind of put in all the places where i need it to be before i do anything else now that i have that gel getting a little tacky so that it's not like kind of slipping all over my head if that makes sense i'm going to be adding my very curly naturals strawberry pineapple leave-in love this stuff smells delicious um and i'm just going to be putting that kind of from the ears down in order to add a little bit more moisture on top of that water that i originally put Okay, and here I'm going to be adding the wild berry growth oil, if I can get it to not fall out of my hand. Um, I'm adding this as my final layer of like sealant and also to add more shine and be honest with y'all, it just smells good. So it makes me smell minty. So I'm going to, I'm going to dance and be, you know, my normal eyeball self. And then I'm going to start brushing my hair up. I always start with the front section of hair. That's just how I roll. It's just what I do. And sorry if I seem a little low energy. It's really late at night when I'm filming this voiceover. It's like 3.30 in the morning. And like I said, my two, well, one of my little babies is sleeping. And the other one, I don't know, I think she's playing with a bone. So I'm pulling, or not pulling, gathering my hair towards the front of my head. This is how I always do any type of like high ponytail or high bun. I kind of push it all to the front of my head and then brush everything upward. So doing the same thing, just making sure I get it as smooth as possible. I'm going to switch over to a toothbrush in a minute. You're going to see that. But um, I'm, you know, spraying a little bit more water. Like I said, it's very important to have this part of your hair nice and smooth. I feel like that adds to the appeal of a puff, the contrast and textures. So here, like I said, I'm going in with my toothbrush, smoothing everything up to make it as smooth as possible. Again, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, beauty of natural hair, but you know, I do want it nice and smooth. So now I'm going to gather all of my hair at the top of my head and I'm going to position it to, you know, kind of where I want the puff to be and make sure it's as smooth as I can possibly get it. Okay, now that I have it where I want it, I'm going to secure it with an elastic. Now, um, if I was doing a bun, I would go around twice, but I'm doing a puff um, and I don't want it super tight. Um, so I'm just gonna go around once and 
I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the butter kind of provides like a hold as well. So that paired with the gel, I really don't need it super tight. If you want yours tight, feel free to go around with the elastic as many times as you like, but I'm only going around my hair once. All right, so here I'm just kind of zhuzhing up my hair and seeing where I want everything positioned in place. And because my hair is naturally a looser curl pattern in the front, this isn't heat damage. I just have always had different, you know, different curl pattern in the front. It's looser. So I'm picking out all of those curls that are longer and looser. And I'm just gathering them to where I want it to be. And these are gonna be the ones that I pin up. And I'm taking that section of hair I'm gonna pull it for it gently and then I'm going to flip it back over my finger and then where my hand is right now where I have it pinched that is exactly where I'm going to place the bobby pin and I'm gonna place it horizontally and then I'm gonna go in with another bobby pin from the opposite direction horizontally as well as to make sure that front section is nice and secure and am I going to have any curls trying to escape. Alright and here I'm just kind of seeing what other parts need to be pinned, parts that are too long. So I'm just going to go through and pretty much, you know, pin things how I see fit. You know, just kind of tailor this to what your hair needs. If you have looser curls, you might need more bobby pins. If you have tighter curls, you might not even need to do like a faux puff because you just balling already and you don't need any assistance from me bobby pins. So, you know, go you. And here I'm just going to pick my hair from the root just to add a little bit more volume and texture to it. That's also going to help my hair stand up and kind of stay in position where I need it to be. And now that I got it at the height that I want, I'm going to go back and pin a couple more sections. Like I said, just tailor this part to how you want it and, you know, your puff needs. If you want it larger, you know, pick it out more. If you want it smaller, you don't have to pick it out at all. It's completely up to you. And I'm just going back to ensure that my front is smooth and everything is nice and as neat as it's going to get. And per usual... After this, I'm gonna go and lay down my baby hairs cause that's just how I've been rolling since about 03, so yeah. All right, now that we got baby hair successfully laid, we are all good to go. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it's helpful. And if you wanna see anything else from me, let me know. And yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy 2017.